yo, peace. Peace to my divine infinite consciousness and peace to my divine infinite self in all realms and realities. Yo, we're going to build about the matrix or the reality that you in and the time that you in. The matrix. The type of matrix that you are in and existing at this now time. So, this matrix that you're existing in is a Iron Age matrix. This Iron Age is a uh, declining age of a civilization. Some civilizations hold their golden ages and silver ages longer than the Iron Age, or sometimes they hold their bronze age longer than their golden and silver ages. It just fluctuates. But an advanced civilization figured out how to extend the length of the golden age and thus this is where you get the history of the Egyptians or the Temerians or the Kemets so you know this whole this whole thing the way it's set up is it's a spirit it's a it's a school a succession in spirits as they go from one level to the next so when you get to the level of being in Egypt or whatnot, because everything was already laid out before you before you got here, this is just a, a learning class for you. So you're learning how to master your senses, learning how to not become weakened to the weaker part of yourself, which is running rampant. And now you can see the weaker part of yourself made manifest physically. And it's acting out on a frequency from beings now. There's only one being. There's only one you. It's the immortal you. However, you can become trapped in different geometric patterns and loops that only you can break yourself out of. So you send yourself prophets, messengers, and in worst case scenarios, God. So when you build in on these type of um, on these type of aspects of life, you know what I mean? Because people don't really look at it as such. It's just like you get up and you just do what it do. And then you go to work, you slave eight hours or whatever, and you come back and you go to rest. You know, this could seem far fetched to them. You know what I'm saying? People who's been in, you know, church and all that shit. Who was taught to see the spirit in a certain way. You know, those who are Sunni Muslim, they can see this as, you know, contradicting to the way they come up because it's like, you know, it's kind of little spooky shit going on with the with the with spiritualisms that's happening with the Islam shit when you got the jinns and all these different things that and you have to be afraid to scare you into praying. So this is different methods. These schools is only set in place for certain amounts of times. Just in case you get off core or get off your path, you can run into one of these points and then you can find your way back to self. So whichever karmic uh, contract you have, you manifest in that time. Time is not linear. It's circular. It's a cycle. So you manifest in that type of time. At this point in time, those times like when you see the pyramids over in Egypt can seem a long time ago, you know what I mean? Whereas versus the pyramids that's over in Mesoamerica or Americush is a little bit more recent. Actually a lot of bit, along with the mounds. So, and then that just goes all over the world where you got sunken pyramids and you know, different things of that nature. And then you had different cultures who made star forts. And then upon star fortresses, they also have buildings, cement building, not cement, but granite buildings. They appear like cement, but it's granite. And it's been here for civilizations. So if you really want to know the truth in the matrix of here, what's going on, 
they lied about the history. Anybody, any European that came over here in the 1700s or whatever, or in the 1500s, they did not build any of those structures, those cathedrals and shit that you see. They did not have, possess the knowledge to even do such a thing. All right. So these these cathedrals and buildings, it was always already in designated areas around America before they got here in Utah, San Francisco, in the South, in Washington, D.C., the White House. You know what I'm saying? The Empire State. They didn't build a goddamn uh, Empire State. They only show you pictures of the top. They never show you the shit from the ground up and how they excavated the shit or got it or where the quarry field was at. So now you got that out the way. Now you got to know that you left yourself clues on how the cosmic life is so you can be able to get in tune with your spirituality through your astrological charts and being in tune in the seventh eighth and ninth dimensions because these muds is ruling you from the fourth fifth and sixth dimensions they can get as far as up there but when you combine yours yours is a, a one and nine from the highest of ascended masters where they reside and coming from the 19th dimension here and these are the ones with the coiled hair and some of us chose to downgrade and come in at different at this, different souls or different spirits through different ethnic groups to help put mugs and keep mugs on the path because there are good students in the game. There are good students, you know what I mean? You know, walking amongst bad students who's running around slapping the backpack of mugs and shit and while the good students are just walking through the school like, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get my shit right. You know, so I'm just trying to graduate and trying to go on to the next to the next level. So, yeah, you had a couple bad students in the Iron Age that got the the upperclassmen off the square. And if the upperclassmen is off the square, then and the teachers, then you know what I'm saying you got timid and scared teachers in the game now. You know what I'm saying? So just like you see on Lean on Me, motherfuckers be timid and scared, so they can't teach the students. Now the students running the shit. The students is, is appointing who gonna be the teacher and all that. Because it's all about spiritual levels. We left everything for you. Everything was left. So some of us come back behind and help guide the spirits on up to where they at. Because the spirits that are already low now, like the, the single cell organisms all the way up to, to the, the plants and you know what I'm saying, the moving, the vertebrae ones, all the way up until the predators and how they running around and shit like that, to the mammals and reptilians and all that, or reptilians and mammals, whatever you want, which way you want to call it, you know what I'm saying, all the way up, you know what I mean, to the primates and everything. This is how the spiritual goes through those levels. It's not like the darn shit. So he took the shit, spent it around, and gave it to you a whole nother way. All right? So this is where the importance of that whole shit comes in. This is why you got to know your cosmology, know yourself and how you relate here. When you know yourself, you know your heart. You know your heart is a vortex and it don't pump the blood, but it just spirals the blood through you. You know that you can't have no fat. You gotta have, you know, because the truth is in the porn. I mean, it's, you, you, you gotta have no fat. Because, yeah, the truth is in the porn. You gotta understand that. And that's why you can't fuck with it. It's how people truly feel. And this is the levels of the spirituality. This is why the original man must be back up on his square. And it is by all means, they did whatever it took to take him off of his shit. Created businesses where he couldn't even utilize his name unless he had to become Boule or Mason or something like that to even do business you know what i mean and then find a way if he's just and if he's existing without the assistance of the mug in the matrix that's that's running the game right now then they'll find a way to lock the physical vessel up even though the straw man is a is a fictional character but they'll still find a way and you being who humble of what you is if you're original being with this woolly hair you being humble you go along with the thing. Don't even know this is what it is. Like, damn. <clears throat> yeah, you didn't have to do that. So, you know, it's crucial. So this is for the Buddhas who, who mastered last life who was here. Who understood. This is the new, new age, new time. This is how this shit runs. 
All right, so this is the new age for the new enlightened ones, for the new Buddhists who are not releasing, who's building their kundalini up and making it go far out to the other brothers. That's all I hear. And do the real kinetic energy. All right? And building it up. And transmuting it through what they call death. So yeah, change your diet up, the eating, because it is a diet right now. It's called that for a reason. There is a transgender agenda that's popping off. So stay woke. With that being said, I'ma say, get your ass some fruit. Sit back, sun gaze in a maze, fast, activate that DMT in you, you know what I'm talking about, and uh, yeah, and listen up to some God body supernatural healing, alright, and if you haven't already, you better subscribe.